In this video tutorial, we are going to briefly discuss the three bar confirmation entry system. So in an earlier video, when we talked about our market maker levels, we talked about the fact that we were looking for areas on our chart to make decisions, also known as decision points. And once you get in to a decision point area, and again, I encourage you to go back if you haven't done so already and watch the market maker levels video. But once you get to one of these locations on the chart, you really have a, a decision to make. Uh, you can look for candlestick patterns. You can look for chart patterns. I showed you a few examples in that video. Uh, you can also look for uh, first time touch opportunities in the direction that you that you believe the market is headed. Right. And so um, there are many different ways to look at getting into these opportunities. But one of the different uh, tools that will provide you is an entry confirmation system and so uh, some traders have difficult time looking at chart patterns and they need more confirmation that a pattern is going to hold and those kinds of things and that's what this system uh, will provide you it is an entry confirmation system and so let's take a brief discussion of that here at the moment so i'm going to give you uh, a set of entry rules right uh, when you get into and so there are a couple of different ways that you can look at this and what I'm about to show you is the out-of-the-box settings and so again it, it we briefly dis, uh, discuss what the uh, bar type is and again it's a hybrid set of Renko bars uh, we'll talk about the uh, uh, differences uh, there's colors on the bars right so for bullish bars the color is blue and for bearish bars the color is red and the signal bar is yellow uh, these again uh, modifications there are short setups the short setup simply is a you are looking for a blue yellow red entry confirmation pattern and for longs you're looking for red yellow blue and so again here's an example uh, this is one of your market maker level decision points and you can see as you came right up into this area blue yellow red the entry is one tick uh, below the signal bar stop loss is 10 ticks and then you can see how the market moved away uh, another short example here on the ES blue yellow red beyond the uh, uh, market maker level and then a move to the downside so uh, the signal bar the way that I have the out of the box settings for me is eight ticks in length and so the reason we call it an entry confirmation system is because of this basically this three bar pattern blue, yellow, and red. The signal bar is eight links. One tick below the signal bar indicates an entry, and that is where you would look to get in. So again, you're looking for confirmation that that level is holding. Now, some people like additional confirmations, uh, so we give you a set of rules using a 50-period SMA, and it really doesn't matter uh, what the uh, setting on the SMA is, but in this example, uh, we're using a 50 period SMA for this example and you can see that again you have this three bar pattern against a level right and below trading below the 50 period moving average and this gave you uh, a really good idea of how this opportunity would have worked uh, we also have what we call a second wave short setup so your first initial wave entry was here and if you decided that that was too much right it wasn't far enough below the moving average for you, you had another uh, blue, yellow, red, second wave entry potential there. We give you rules uh, to discuss these. Now, some people like additional confirmation, right? So they want to wait for a moving average crossover. And so in this example, again, we used a uh, 10 period and a 20 period SMA. And we said that once the market is trading uh, below the, the, uh, the slower, right, you get an entry signal on or about that uh, 20 period SMA giving you confirmation again that the market is angled to the downside when you get this cross both moving averages are below the fast is below the slow and moving down and you get an opportunity to do it there again the, the the speed of the moving average is not so much important as the fact that they are crossed and both they're trading in the direction that you're looking for the market to go finally we give you a set of entry rules uh, as Bollinger Band entry filters and again, these are best used on the ES. I found that using these Bollinger Bands is best used on the ES. But simply put, you're against one of your support or resistance areas. You look for that three-bar pattern, blue, yellow, red. And the uh, price action was right at the top of the Bollinger Bands, giving you confirmation uh, of that idea. So I'm going to give you rules uh, as potential filter opportunities for this confirmation entry system. 
uh, and there are several sets of rules there to look at. So let's take a look here now at uh, one of the charts. We'll start with uh, a CL chart here. And again, very clean idea. Remember what we talked about b before. If you make it to one level uh, below, then you're looking for the expectation is to go to the level below that and then ultimately down to that level. And if you can't make it to the level above or below, then you look for it to go to the previous level uh, that you were at. And so again, uh, a really clean opportunity here. Blue, yellow, red against this support area slash resistance area. Your entry uh, in this case would have been one tick below uh, this 91 area, right? Like right about here. And if you didn't like that, you could have waited for this blue, yellow, red pattern, right? And gone in one tick here. Uh, either way, it was a very good trade. Again, the signal bar is eight ticks in length and one tick for the uh, uh, entry. And so your stop, if you were going from here, 65 to 75 would have been your 10 tick stop. And then in this case, you're looking for a two and a half to one risk reward ratio. Uh, so again, here is 18 ticks so not quite two and a half to one. Uh, and if you wanted to continue this, and so what I would be doing is I would be continuing to look for at least that area of two and a half to one, three to one, but I'd really be looking uh, for this area beyond, which is 41 ticks. Now, if you decided to get in up here, right, the first target is 22 ticks. That is, uh, that would be two, almost two and a half to one. If you wanted to bring it down into this area, that's 45 ticks. And if you were really excited about the opportunity you had another t opportunity for 67 ticks and again pretty quickly down at this level you got a red yellow blue and for entry confirmation system you could have just turned right back around and gotten long again if, if you were so inclined you said that's about as far as that move is going to go uh, you could have gotten in here at 30 and your stop would have been right here at 20. And so obviously, that's actually a little bit deeper, but never would have even challenged that. And again, automatically here, it goes right up into this level, giving you an opportunity for 17 ticks. That's not quite far enough. And then you'd be looking maybe to get up here for 40 ticks, market sells and moves around. And eventually, uh, as you go into that overnight session, you could see that the market kind of gives you an opportunity there almost to get to the entire way. Right, a little bit of messing around in this area here, but you could see how uh, if you were patient and waiting, you could have had an opportunity for some very handsome ticks on that particular day. That's the CL. Let's take a look at what it looks like here uh, on the ES. Actually, let's do this first before we move on. Let me give you what it looks like with the moving average here. So this is a 50 period moving average. Uh, again, uh, really what you'd be looking for here on this particular day is price action here is trading below that moving average. This is that same example. And you said, I'm just going to wait for the filter. Uh, you would have been in short uh, one tick here. And you could have been looking to get all the way to here. That's 40 ticks, right? Or you could have waited until price action comes back over the top here of that uh, moving average. And that's 25 ticks. So either way, you had a very handsome uh, move on your hands there. Uh, if we go through here... And again, uh, we'll look at, uh, let's see, we'll take one of these off here and we'll turn this into a 20 period SMA. And we'll turn this one into a 10 period SMA. All right. And we'll make this red like we showed in the rules example. And we'll come here and make this uh, red and we'll say, okay. All right, so now what you had here is you had another opportunity. Again, this is that same three bar pattern up here as the opportunity. Uh, again, you would have been, uh, you would have missed out on this opportunity as it came down below. But again, you can see how using this as a filter uh, would help filter you in uh, to potential trades. So again, right here is another really good example. Uh, you had red, yellow, blue as your entry filter against one of your levels here, right? And so if you said you were one tick above here at 69.08 and you had a 10 tick stop, there's 46 ticks. If you said, I'm just going to kick the signal and pay the target, then you had a three to one, almost three to one risk reward ratio trade there. So that's how that looks with your 
entry filters on the bars. Uh, let's take a look here at an ES example really quickly. Uh, again, same idea here on the ES. You had, uh, let's pull it into focus here. You had another really good opportunity right here. Blue, yellow, red against one of your resistance areas. Uh, if your entry is here at 1075 and your stop is there, uh, actually a little bit higher than that, right? It is two points on the stop. Uh, that is a two point stop. You're looking for two and a half to one or five points risk reward. This first area here supports three points, so that's not quite it. Uh, and if you look here, you can go just a little bit deeper to the structure target, and you're at 6.75, which is about three and a half to one risk reward. Market continues down on this particular day. Uh, there's that second wave entry, and if you were just being persistent about hanging on, uh, you had an opportunity to come all the way down to the structure extension one, which is uh, 11 points, which is about five and a half to one risk reward ratio. Now, if you want confirmation, and again, we talked about those Bollinger Bands uh, being potential confirmation here as one of the ideas as additional confirmation on an ES trade. Uh, we'll add Bollinger Bands here. Whoops, it's this one. And again, you can see here how the market, when it comes down into the Bollinger Bands, they react. Let's expand this chart out just a little bit. We'll come back over here, right? We'll come back over here, and you had a really good opportunity. We'd come down into the Bollinger Band here, and we were just a couple of ticks off of it here. You had red, yellow, blue uh, right off your entry level, and then the market rallies. One more market to look at here is your ES, or sorry, this is your NQ. And again, your market maker levels here providing you with good opportunity here on the NQ. I'm not an NQ trader, uh, but again, you had your red, yellow, blue right against that support. Market comes down into it. You get in here and you have an opportunity uh, to go, what is that? That is 20, uh, nine and a quarter points on the NQ, or if you were... Uh, again, just being aggressive with it and said, I'm going to write it up a little bit further. Of course, you would be selling at the very high. I don't suspect you would do that. But again, if you just held on and said that I'm going to put my stop here at nine and a quarter uh, ES points, you had an opportunity to go all the way up to the next level. Remember, if you watch that previous video, if it goes to one level and can't get down to the next, then you look for it to continue to rally. And then again, you had a very clean three bar pattern again against that level. So thank you for watching this quick video tutorial on your three bar entry confirmation system.